Hi friends, welcome to English Study Point. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss with you about most famous Indian novelist whose name is Kushwan Singh. And here in this video lecture, I am going to speak about some important facts related to his biography. So he was born in a place called Hadali, in which is in Punjab, on 2 Feb 1915, and died in 20th March 2014. And he was by profession an Indian novelist as well as journalist of All India Radio and also a lawyer. And we find there is presence of uh, partition-like themes in his novel, so that is why here it is mentioned that he was the first novelist to capitalize the partition theme, and his birth name was Kushal Singh. So uh, Kushal Singh, uh, meaning of this name Kushal Singh in English is prosperous lion, and his name suggests that he was a prosperous lion of his family, and also he is also he was also known by his pet name. His pet name was Shalu. Please remember this. This is an uh, important fact. Related to him, and he also served in Indian legal system as well as he also made his contribution in several of Indian journals, and also he actively participates or made his presence in the field of literature, and he he started his literary venture or uh, from his debut work that is a train to Pakistan, which was published by him in the year nineteen hundred and fifty six. This particular work was first work which was published by him, and by writing this fiction, he started his career in literary field. And uh, with all uh, with equal passion and hard work, so we find that uh, while he was engaged in serving Indian legal system as well as making his contribution in Indian journals as well as participating in literature, so we see there is presence of passion as well as hard work. Then Singh started his career as a professional lawyer in nineteen hundred and thirty eight, and we see that his heart was set on working with the legal system. So while he uh, was engaged in his profession as a lawyer, his he was more encouraged towards joining. Indian legal system in India, and also he made contribution towards it. That is Indian legal system. He dedicatedly worked and gave his best at the Lahore court for eight years. After that, Singh went on to become the press attache and public officer for the Indian Commission in London and Ottawa. So, friends, here, there is nothing to explain here in these facts. I am later explaining you things about him when I will explain you about his works. Now, these are only facts, and so I don't find need to explain anything here in these facts. That is why I am here only reading. So, from 1954 to 1956, he worked in the Department of Mass Communication of UNESCO. Another major important fact which we uh, see here is that he also started making or uh, his contribution in editorial services and started editing a newspaper called Yojana. So, this particular Yojana, which is a newspaper, he started contributing his services in this newspaper, and this is a a uh, journal by indian government then from 1980 to 1983 he was the editor of the newspaper hindustan times and also we see that he was the editor of other newspapers as well that is the national herald of new delhi then he made his contribution in also in another newspaper that is the illustrated weekly of india which was best seller at that time and there is a particular section in this newspaper which is uh, titled as letter to editor in this particular section he contributes his works so letter to editor was the best section of this newspaper where he contributes and his saturday column so another major fa uh, fact about him is that he also make his contribution in a saturday column which is titled as with malice towards one and all which uh, this particular column appeared in hindustan times and it was a popular column he made his um, contribution in this particular column as well From 1980 to 1986, Singh was a member of Rajya Sabha, the upper house of the Indian Parliament. Then it was the time he returned the award as a, a protest against Operation Blue Star in 1984. So in the year 1984, he received award, and that particular award he returned back as because he was quite really disappointed, uh, and he was also against this Operation Blue Star, which was launched by Indian government against Sikhs, as because. Uh, two Sikh guards tried to uh, kill or shot Indira Gandhi. So, in response to that, Indian uh, Hindus launched this particular operation, which is against Sikhs. And in this particular op operation, many Sikhs were killed. So, uh, Kushwan Singh was against this, and he protested against this Operation Blue Star. And also, that is the reason why he returned back award, which was received to him in the year 1984. Now, his best known novels. Are the train to Pakistan, and I am going to uh, discuss about all these works in a very elaborate way in this slide. Then another work is I shall not hear the Nightingale, 1959, a history of Sikh, 1963, Gadar, 1915, semicolon, India's first armed revolution, 1966, Black Jasmine, a short story which was published in the year 1971, Delhi, a novel published in 1990, Not a Nice Man to Know, this particular. Uh, work is considered as the best of Kushwan Singh and published in the year 1993. We Indians also work by 
Pushpan Singh, published in 1993. Then, The Company of Women, this is most important novel and regarded as the millennium's last great Indian less vicious novel. Please remember this, The Company of Women, this is a novel published by him in the year 1999, regarded as the millennium's last great Indian less vicious novel. Then, Truth, Love and A Little Malice, an autobiography published by him in the year 2007, Why I Supported Emergency. So, this particular uh, is a is an essay by Pushpan Singh and this particular essay contained eight, eight essays in total and published by him, these essays are published by him in the year 2009. Then, More Malicious Gossip, and these are collection of writings by Pushpan Singh published in 1989, then Sex, Scotch and Scholarship published in 1992, then Big uh, Book of Malice published in 2000, then Kushwant Nama, The Lessons of My Life, most important work, please remember this as uh, this particular fact is very important for you to know. Uh, Kushwant Nama, The Lessons of My Life, published by Kushwant Singh in the year 2013, then Yasmin 2017, Jessica Brown 2017, The Honeymoon 2017. These three works are dis uh, described as his posthumous works. Please remember this. Then, let's talk about uh, titles of some uh, short stories published by Kushwant Singh. First one is The Portrait of a Lady, then uh, The Strain, Success Mantra, A Love Affair in London, Na Kahu Se Dosti, Na Kahu Se Bair. Then, the last short story published by him was the walk. Then, books uh, that are published by him, Maharaja Ranjit Singh, Fall of Sikhs, The History of Sikh. And there is an important point to note here. He wrote last book at the age of 98. And he, uh, while he was writing this last book at the age of 98, he uh, not wrote this work alone. He uh, wrote this work with companionship of another author. And the name of that particular author is Hum Humra Kureshi. So, with Humra Kureshi, he wrote this work all together and the name of this work is The Good, The Bad, The Ridiculous. Please remember this. The Good, The Bad, The Ridiculous. This is a collective work which was published by two major authors. First one is Kushwan Singh and another one is Humra Kureshi. Then, let's talk about collection of short stories published by him. First one is The Mark of Vishnu and Other Stories published in 1950 and these are ironic tales which talks mainly about faith as well as religion. Then another one is The Voice of God and Other Stories published by him in the year 1957. The last one is A Bride for the Sahib and Other Stories published in 1961. Then he published single essay and the uh, name of that particular essay is May I Supported the Emergency. This particular essay contains eight essays in total which was published by him in the year 2004. And also there is an important line which was said by him when he was alive and that line is that he has declared about himself that his roots are in the dunghill of a tiny Indian village and his fiction re reeks with the ordure of his roots. Let me re repeat about this line again that he said about himself that his roots are in the dunghill of a tiny Indian village and his fiction reeks with the ordure of his roots. These lines suggest that we find that uh, in his novels there is impression or you can say that there is influence of Indian uh, village in his works. So we find there is glimpses or presence of or influence of Indian village life in his works. And let me tell you about style of his work. He write vigorous as well as employs colorful Punjabi expletives. Expletive means that you can write, uh, there is use of Punjabi slang language in his works. So that is why here is uh, said that he employs colorful Punjabi expletives. Expletives here means that slang language use karna. Which Punjabi mein bhaddi language use ki jati hai. So usi ka ye use kiya karte thai apne works mein. And also he wrote uh, his own epitaph while he was alive. So he wrote about himself that here lies one who spared neither men nor God. Waste not your tears on him. He was sad writing nicely things he regarded as great fun. Fun, thank the Lord he is dead. So this is all the epitaph that if someone dies, they write in his memory. But here they wrote an epitaph in which they are telling me that I am a person who has left someone 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 who has left unpleasant चीजों को describe करने की कोशिश करता था, but unpleasant चीजों को describe करना ही मेरे लिए एक तरीके का great fun था, and मैं भगवान को शुक्रिया करना चाहता हूँ कि अब मेरी death हो गई है, तो ये इन्होंने lines अपने बारे में खुद लिखी है, और ये एक तरीके का epitaph है, then Achievements after his death. So, in uh, the year 2016, Kushwan Singh enters Limka Book of World Record as a tribute. So, his name was mentioned in Limka Book of World Record. Please remember this. Now. Let's talk about awards received by him. Honest Men of the Year. This title was given by him by Sulab International in the year 2000. Then Punjab Ratan Award given by Government of Punjab in the year 2006. Then Padma Vibhushan given by Government of India in the year 2007. Then Sahitya Academy Fellowship 
in the year 2010 all india minorities forum annual fellowship award by akhilesh yadav 2012 then lifetime achievement award by tata literature life the mumbai literature fest 2013 so these uh, six type of uh, awards received by him during his lifetime then let's talk about his work first work that is a major historical novel train to pakistan he wrote this particular work by gaining experience uh, as because he was also eye witness to this particular situation that is the situation of 1947 very horrific situation so he was a real eye witness to this particular situation and based upon his experiences he wrote this particular historical novel that is train to pakistan so experience of 1947 inspired him to write train to pakistan in 1956 and also film was based uh, upon the title of this particular work that is train to pakistan a film was made on it in the year 1998 and we see that there uh, is a real depiction of horrific situation and kushwan singh by writing this particular work um, entered in the field of fiction writing so with this work by publishing this work he launched himself in the world of fiction writing and this particular work is known by two titles first one is manu banjara um is in american edition and dia brooklyn saddle saddle dash in german settled dash in german then awards received for this work so this particular work also received two types of award first award is grove press of new york announced a 1000 dollar award for the best work of fiction in india and also he won italian mondello award for literature by publishing this work that is a, a train to pakistan published by him in the year 1956 then let's talk about this work in more detailed as well as elaborate way this work depicts the impact of partition on a small village so here in this work we see that a uh, partition such situation a uh, hostile situation created immense difficulties for not only for indians but for two communities uh, the, uh, we see here in this work after effects of partition where we notice that after partition uh, there is animosity grew between two communities first one is hindu as well as uh, second one is muslims and they decided to create a separate nation muslims decided to create a separate nation so that they want to uh, also want uh, to create a separate identity for themselves so they decided to create another nation which is now named as or called as pakistan this particular uh, work uh, reflects the after effects or aftermath of partition on a small village on the indo pak border and also this particular work depicts uh, pitiless realism that in uh, the, uh, when the situation is so hostile between hindus as well as muslims this particular work tries to showcase that uh, such condition hostile condition uh, between these two communities led to enough of, of war as well as blood shedding so uh, and also there is rape of women uh, and abduction of small children so such is the case and uh, one can uh, feel sympathy as well as empathy by listening to sad stories related to pakistan and here train is a symbol of movement so movement here reflects that there is transfer of two communities a uh, hindu uh, hindu were well, uh, living in pakistan they started shifting from pakistan to india and muslims living in india they started uh, transferring themselves from pakistan uh, india to pakistan so it depicts fate of individual it also determines destiny of two newly formed nations it is the train from pakistan so we see here in this uh, work that one train is coming from pakistan and in that train uh, that particular train is filled with corpses of many people and it is also the same train which uh, makes journey to pakistan with thousands of muslims so thousands of muslims are uh, getting uh, displaced seeing themselves from india to pakistan now so you can see and feel empathy there that in one day everything got shattered and two communities which were once living happily all together now that particular enmity between these two communities grew such so much and uh, at intense that they started created and there is a creation of two nations first one is india and another one is pakistan and also uh, people belonging from different different communities they started living in their own nation so where there is more religious the people uh, who are more in religious religious majorities they are residing in their particular places for example like hindus uh, in the place where if hindus are in um, more in number so those peoples are living in india and uh, where there is more muslim majority that uh, muslims are going from india to pakistan so there is division of two communities as well as not only a uh, division of two communities but also there is division of land based on religions this work deals with the eruption of violence and also we, here in this work we see that there is depiction of real uh, kushwan singh tries to showcase us real violent situation between the six as well as muslims in a small village called as manu majra along the newly established indo pak border we also see massacre there is lot a uh, lot and lot of blood shedding of, uh, in this uh, incident while 
these particular communities are getting separated from each other. So in that particular mo movement of time, we also see there is a lot of bloodshed through the eyes of the Muslim community who, in spite of having lived peacefully for several years, suddenly turned out to be enemies. Here in this work, we see that uh, animity grew so intense that uh, people who are once living happily all together, they decided to leave land which uh, on which they are living for centuries and they started displacing themselves from the place they are living in and li started living in a place where people are, where there, uh, there is presence of religious majority. For example, Hindus are living in India and Muslims decided to create separate nation and they started living in Pakistan. Then, and then another work is I Shall Not Hear the Nightingale. This particular work published in the year 1959 and also this work talks about the uh, height of Indian freedom movement and also uh, explores about and talks about the impact of freedom movement on the family of Bhuta Singh, a loyal servant of the British Raj and one day his son Sher Singh, who was the chief leader of a group of anti-revolutionaries, anti-British uh, revolutionaries, he was uh, caught under the prison and English Deputy Commissioner John Taylor offered him two choices that either he should betray his own companions and um, save his life or if he is against Britisher then he should uh, surrender himself under British authorities and then there is no option present in front of him to hang himself. So two choices offered to him by English Deputy Commissioner John Taylor as because uh, Bhuta Singh son Sher uh, Singh was a chief leader of anti-British revolutionaries and one day suddenly he got and then John Taylor who was English Deputy Commissioner he offered him two choices that either he should betray his own companions and save his life or he should uh, prepare himself to get hanged by the hands of English people. Then, then there is another novel that is Delhi sem uh, semicolon or uh, novel 1990. This novel is considered as a blend of this novel is considered a blend of history as well as there is presence of romance as well as sex and considered as magnum opus on the city of Delhi. Here in this work we see that uh, uh, there is a hermaphrodite whose name is Bhagmati. Hermaphrodite here means that uh, there is presence of Hindra whose name is Bhagmati and she is so filled with uh, uh, lusty desires that she wants to have sex even she knows that she is a hijra. So this work talks about history commencing from Mughal period of Zahiruddin Babur and ending to the assassination of Indira Gandhi. So here in this work we also uh, see that this work is also a travelogue because uh, Kushman Singh tries to pre uh, present in front of the readers various types of historical places resembling real names, real forms as well as real features. And he talks about his meeting with Hermaphrodite uh, Hor, who is a whore and uh, her name is Bhagmati. She, uh, he literally picks her up from a deserted road on hot summer season. Bhagmati who is uh, neither male nor female but possessive of a great exotic sex appeal. So uh, this uh, Hermaphrodite whose name is Bhagmati, she is filled with enough of sexual desires. Uh, vitalizes his life that this particular thing that sexual desires vitalizes uh, Bhagmati's life. Uh, Amidus, the majestic remains of Delhi in its heyday and serves the narrator's life from the mad mobs of 1984 Sikh riots. So this particular work mainly talks about a character whose name is Bhagmati. She is Hermaphrodite. Uh, in uh, Hindi we call Hermaphrodites as Hijra and this particular work talks about that she uh, is filled with so much sexual vitality, sexual desires. Even when she knows that she is Hijra but uh, she uh, still have sexual desires towards heterosexual beings. Then the narrator in this work, it ends with terrorized narrator watching his uh, sick neighbors mercilessly burnt alive by people. So here in this work we comes up with another incident that a sick person watching other sick neighbors and they are mercilessly burnt alive by Indian people, Indian army because at that time when Operation Blue Star was launched, uh, let me tell you why this operation Blue Star was launched. This particular uh, operation was launched as because two Sikh guards killed Indira Gandhi. So in uh, response to it, this particular operation was launched and in this operation, so many Sikhs were burnt alive by Indian people because they want to take revenge of murder of Indira Gandhi from all these Sikhs. Anger due to the killing of Indira Gandhi by her Sikh guards. He dedicates this work to his son Rahul Singh. We see here in this work that this particular work was dedicated to uh, by Kushwan Singh to his son Rahul Singh and as well as Nilofar Bilimoria. And its some parts were published in Evergreen Review and also in Illustrated Weekly of India. These are the important facts which you should know and also these facts are quite really important from UGC net point of view. Then. The Company of Women, this particular novel is regarded as Millennium's last no last great Indian less vicious novel. So let me tell you meaning of less vicious 
less vicious here means that when uh, there is a feeling or reve revelation of an overt sexual interest or desire in a person that is called as less vicious and this particular uh, work or novel is regarded as the millennium's last great indian less vicious novel less vicious is a uh, that type of feeling or revelation about an overt sexual interest or desire and also this particular work uh, work tries to give the voyeuristic view of male and female anatomy and in this work we see that there is a protagonist mohan kumar and with that pushpan singh by trying to create this particular character that is mohan kumar he is trying to uh, showcase us that a man even if he gets older his sexual in uh, instincts travel from his middle to head means that when uh, a person turns older and older sexual instincts uh, became more stronger in him so that is why uh, it means that a person is ruled by sexual desire even when he gets older so in this work he tries to showcase mohan kumar when he was student in us he lost his virginity at princeton university to jessica brown this person uh, when uh, from his even from his young age till his old age this person uh, is so much lusty as well as uh, he maintains sexual relation with so many women so let's talk about how, with how many women he maintain his Uh, sexual relations mohan kumar he when he was student in us he lost his virginity at princeton university to jessica brown and she was a beautiful black lady she is a beautiful black lady and uh, then another girl is miss yasmin a pakistan uh, uh, revealed to mohan kumar the heady passion of a woman older than her male counterpart and then there is mohan's repeated relation uh, with maid named as dhanno with her practice charm on the bed so with her maid he practice charm on the bed another woman is the million whose name is mary joseph she is dark as well as plump woman uh, and also she is a nurse to kumar's son he tried to maintain his sexual relation with this tamilian girl whose name is mary joseph then kumar's uh, uh, another sexual relationship with madam sarojini bhardwaj a professor of english she was stronger than many men then another is molly uh, james she is mistress of sexuality then another one is susan thika she is from africa so with all these women he tried to maintain or he tried to gratify his sexual desires so here in this work we see that uh, by citing some ex uh, examples and putting in front of you i want to say that uh, how much men gets older his sexual in uh, instincts with age grew more stronger so this particular work is evident of this particular um, statement that is said by, uh, by me a few minutes later then at the last uh, we see that mohan kumar committing suicide as he realizes he has aids it is uh, this particular work is also translated into kannada by ravi belagire so please remember this this particular novel is very important from ugc net point of view i am reading lines mentioned in the slide the novel begins with its hero mohan kumar a successful delhi businessman breaking off with his wife and his everlasting lusty efforts to set up a more flexible arrangement for appeasement so he try to break all his connections with wife after maintaining sexual relations with her suddenly he uh, suddenly he broke his connections with his wife and then he for uh, sexual uh, gratification he look for other women uh, for his physical needs the initial uh, we see that initial endeavor he begins at his home with sweepers whose name is thanno and extends to the wide world of lonely women beyond the neighborhood to the princeton uh, with yesika brown having more desire of his triumph in one night encounter with a devout muslim woman whose name is yasmin she is from pakistan the novel chronologically presents the sensuous pictures of the nine women with whom the hero beds including his wife of eight on the description one is african american another one is kashmiri pandits muslim uh, then dalit hindu hindu brahmin tamilian christian goan roman catholic sri lankan buddhist and an unnamed woman of easy virtue in bombay so uh, mohan kumar who is protagonist of this particular work he is uh, Uh, his uh, sexual desires are so much intense that he tried to maintain uh, his sexual relations with all these women after breaking off his connections with his wife he tried to maintain uh, his sexual desires with all these women which is mentioned here in this slide then a history of the six this particular work is regarded as the most authoritative work on the sikh history then another one is truth love and a little malice published in 2002 it is autobiography which describes kushwan singh's relation with political dignitaries so kushwan singh uh, also maintained his relations with political heads uh, which is uh, showcased in here in this work then with malice towards one and all it is a weekly column on the editorial page of the saturday edition please remember this this is very important fact about kushwan singh that he tries to make uh, his contribution in this particular column and the name of this column is with malice towards one and all now with this this particular video lecture ends here and hope this video lecture will help you in your ugc net english literature exams thank you